George Cottle is a mastermind. And he is the best I've ever worked with. I always feel safe, which is number one. So we had eight or nine weeks of prep and rehearsal, and we would put all of these fights together, and we tried to keep the tradition of what the fights and what the bad guys would normally focus on alive with that element, but also put our spin on it. George's whole team just have such a physicality that bring our story to life. Yeah. Three, two, one, after. Obviously, wires play such a massive part, but the hard thing for wires with us on this is we had to put some point six, seven, even eight characters on wires at the same time, and they all had to be very unique to their own character. We couldn't just hang Doc Ock there and hang the Green Goblin there because it's like, no, they move very differently, and the Goblin moves around on his flyer, so we had to make sure that when we were doing wires with him, that it played uniquely to his movements and his character. And that was one of the hardest things for us, was to make sure that we had all of those components together to make sure that the character was represented correctly from the wires and from the way they put the fights together. Oh, 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 told you I never wanted to do this ever again! Oh, 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 MJ, I'm so sorry, but I can't see anything oh, sorry, with your hand sorry, in my... Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have an incredible team of people who make sure that we are very safe. It's like, whenever in the world will I be able to experience this stuff? First day we had Zendaya with us was her jumping off a bridge in New York for the opening sequence. <laughs> we had a scissor lift 55 feet in the air. We had two, you know, 100-foot cranes above her. Yeah, my first day of shooting was like, OK, we're going to lift you up on a cherry picker, and you're just going to jump off. And I was like, well, this sounds familiar. <laughs> we had. The camera right next to her on a high-speed winch. We had her on a decelerator. You know, she did nearly 50 feet of free fall and nine feet of deceleration to a mark, and absolutely perfect. What are you doing at work today? Oh, well, you know, I just put a harness on and jumped off this thing. Yeah, it. Right in Happy's condo, we were all very excited about because I think our main baseline was just, we're going to destroy this condo. They're going through buildings. They're crashing through walls. One of my favorite sequences in the whole movie, the Green Goblin is super strong. And he can take the abuse and the violence from Spidey. So that was a really interesting and exciting avenue for us to explore. You have Willem and Tom doing a lot of their own stunts and wanting to be part of the physical process. We wanted to make a Spider-Man fight that was just, that was violent, that he's going through walls, Goblin's going through walls, we're going through floors. And we just wanted to make it as big as it could be, as well as really play that. Willem is a demented, evil character. Spidey isn't doing so good in the fight. And he's got Goblin against the wall, and he's just giving it all he can. And Willem is just doing this incredible reactions with his face, and then just stops and gives the Goblin like the laugh, but that like cackle. <laughs> and everybody on set just stopped. It kind of made your hair stand on end. Whoa, that was so, so scary. <laughs> All right, guys, focus on You feel that? You know, when you get to a third act battle in any film, you want it to be uh, satisfying. It's a level of emotion, I think, that will rival the level of spectacle. When you have five plus villains, three plus heroes, MJ, Ned, and Doctor Strange in the mix, it's very, very big. And we're having fun with the setting of the Statue of Liberty. Spidey has, for so many years, been born, bred, raised in New York. For them to base the final battle around the Statue of Liberty was pretty incredible, really. It's at the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> I mean, there's no way practically to do that you know, with a set with the proper proportion. So we have to do it blue screen. That shot where we all land on the crown is one of the hardest Spider-Man landings I've ever done because the crown was just so uneven. And in the Spider-Man scene, you can't see anything. And I was really trying to land in the most iconic Spider-Man pose. Poor Peter, too weak to send me home to die. 
At this point, Tom has got so much hatred and so much of the fight had to be that raw aggression and that pure anger. But, you know, we also know that he has to hold his temper or else that's going to be the one thing that's going to let him down. There was some really fantastic fight stuff and Tom Holland just absolutely did a fantastic job. And Willem bought his A game. <laughs> yeah! I love George, and I have never once been injured. And that's a testament to his professionalism, his skill set, and also his team. I'm always very safe. I think when you add more practicality, you can show the audience that it's actually these people doing these stunts and all of this action. The more you can incorporate those real moments, I think it just sells it all so much more. I'm in such awe of everyone on that stunt team and our actors and their ability to pull it off.